Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home and welcome to episode 18 in our home renovation series. If you're new here, we filmed 17 other home renovation episodes if you want to go back and watch them and get caught up on our renovation. So we are starting off this video by me planting some Russian sage here at our back porch. I just wanted to try these out and see how they would do. I put one on either side of our back step. They're supposed to grow and spread out fairly quickly, so I'm hoping that they kind of fill in this whole corner right here at the back porch. And I still have to figure out what else I want to plant along this whole back porch. But Russian sage is supposed to be able to withstand really hot and dry weather, which is perfect because we're in Southern Arizona. They're also supposed to help to repel mosquitoes, which I thought was interesting. And I'm using my very handy wagon from Best Choice Products. I'll put a link down below. This thing is so awesome when I'm doing gardening like this. It's gonna be great when I do the landscaping on the outside of the house and when we get chickens. Okay, so the first project that we're going to do is that I'm going to try to paint the metal part around these glass sliding doors. I've seen a lot of people do this on Pinterest and I'm hoping that it turns out as good as it did for them. This is the Rust Oleum Universal Advanced Formula Matte Paint and Primer in One. It's good for wood, metal, plastic, masonry. And it's for indoor or outdoor, so I can use it on the outside of the sliding doors as well. I got it in the farmhouse black color. And I think that three cans is going to be plenty because the amount that I have to paint around each sliding door is not that much. It's only about this wide. If this works, it will really help to give these doors an upgrade so me and my husband are going to tape and plastic this up and start trying to spray paint. The first step is very important. I have to make sure that all of the metal part that I'm going to be painting is completely clean and this door is not that clean so I need to get working on cleaning all of this off. After we had spray painted the doors, then my husband installed the trim on the sides and the top, but before he could install the side trim, he had to cut a little bit of the floor trim away to fit in the side trim, and he's using his oscillating multi-tool from DeWalt. And I always get questions from people asking me to link our tools that we use during the renovation. And so Jalen recently added a bunch of new products to the Hannah's Happy Home Amazon storefront page. There is a bunch of categories in there now. We've got the different rooms in the house, like the office, the boys' room. And now we also have a category called renovation tools. And he linked all of these tools that we've been using during the renovation because I always get lots of questions from you guys for me to link them. So go and check that out. The links will be down below and we'll try to keep on adding more stuff to the Amazon storefront and also if you want to see the finished sliding doors see an up close shot and hear my opinion on it then stay tuned until closer to the end of this video
is that I'm going to pressure wash all of this wood that's around our master bedroom porch. Try to clean this up a little bit before I put on the clear sealer. Okay, so I just got my pressure washer all set up. Sometimes this thing can be a process to get all set up because I have to connect the hose and then I have to connect the power to the plug-in and then get the other hose unrolled, get that ready to go. And now we are going to try pressure washing this wood. And this is my pressure washer. I do really like this one. It's a great size for around the house, just doing like pressure washing off your porch or cleaning your vehicles, whatever. This one works great for all of that. So I will have the link down below and I'm trying to do better with linking everything that I show in a video. So always check the video description box for links. <laughs> pressure washed off really well. They didn't need sanded like the bar did. There was nothing really left to sand and none of the wood was peeling. It just needed a really good pressure wash, which is what I just gave it. So now there is a couple of the boards that need nailed in. And then once this completely dries, then I can paint black on these posts and I need to get some more sealer in town. So I probably won't be able to do that for a couple more days. The next step is that I need to use this Dewalt nailer and nail in any of the loose boards here. <laughs> the first coat of black paint on these red posts and this took a while because I ended up having to tape around the bottom of the posts. Um, I did drip some black paint right there but I can get that off. I had to tape around some of these posts because I didn't want to get black paint on the wood that I just want to have a clear seal on it. So had to do some taping all along here and there was a lot to paint. It takes a while when you have to get in so many crevices but the second coat shouldn't take quite as long. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to call it quits for the day at this point. When my husband gets home tonight, he's gonna nail in these bottom boards back here. But I did get all of the red beams painted black. So in the next home renovation video, you guys will see me put the clear sealer on these boards right here. I like to finish something in the same video, but it's fine. We'll just finish it in the next video. And I realized, oops, I forgot to paint the red beam on this side right here. So we'll just do that when we put on the clear sealer. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna put together these super cute chairs and put these over on that little porch by our master bedroom that we just painted. And these chairs are from Best Choice Products. These are so cute and such good quality. And you guys, if you want these, you have to run over to the website and buy them quickly because they sell out so fast. I've been waiting a while to get these, but they kept on selling out. They've got them in two other colors, tan and black. I'm getting the tan ones as well because they would look so cute on the front porch. They're just a really great chair set and the little table in the middle has a glass top. I also have a coupon code for Best Choice products which will be down in the description box. So go and get yourself some of these cute chairs and go and look at the tan ones because they're my favorite. And if they say that they're sold out, then just keep checking every couple of days because they will come back in stock but they do sell out quickly. Okay, so we are going to pop off three of the exterior doors and put on black hinges. I think it's the last doors in the house that don't have black hinges besides the master bedroom exterior door. And these ones are square hinges. Just gonna take those off first. These are the hinges that we're putting on. They're the matte black square ones from Cosmas Hardware. I'll put a link down below. All done with the first door. Looks way better. <laughs> okay, on to the last door. This one takes the round hinges, so the square ones. Today I'm going to paint all this trim that Jalen put around the sliding doors. Once I get all this painted, Jalen will come back and caulk it all and then I can show you guys the finished sliding doors, show you what they look like. We have really great things to say about that spray paint because they turned out so nice and smooth. But I'll show you how they look once I get all this painted. And I just realized that we never put a switch cover on these switches right here so I went and grabbed one of those and I'm gonna stick that on real quick before we get started painting. I already went in this morning and filled in all of the nail holes and that has dried now so we can come in and paint. Here is the paint that we used for all of the interior doors and the trim, if you can even see that because it's got some paint sprayed on there. But this is the semi-gloss interior white Valspar Pro contractor coat. I would recommend doing a semi-gloss for your interior doors and trim and then a flat paint for your ceiling and an eggshell for your walls. That's the combo that we use and we really love how it turns out. I've got the first coat done on all of this. Now I have to go back in with the second coat and get this finished up. Okay, 
now I have to do the touch up paint here in the laundry room. We already had filled in these holes the other day, but now I just have to touch it up. Okay, so here's how the sliding doors turned out. I would say this is a pretty good makeover. It's more of like a statement over here now instead of just those ugly metal sliding doors. We used that black spray paint to spray the metal parts of the doors and then my husband trimmed around the doors. I painted the trim. We are very impressed with that spray paint. It bonded to the metal so well. This is not going to chip or peel off. Like this is on there for good. It's a very good spray paint. And it also left a really smooth finish on the doors. We spray painted the handles and these just turned out perfect. They've got a nice smooth finish on them. It's a great way to give your sliding doors a makeover without having to buy new doors. I'll be sure and put a link for that spray paint down below because we would highly recommend it. Ignore some of the dirt that's down here, but here's how the bottom of the sliding doors look and you guys can just see how smooth all of this is. Oh yeah, I would say this was a pretty successful little makeover. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I just think that it really helped to give these old sliding doors an upgrade. So I wanted to take a moment here in the video to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare has been a longtime sponsor of Hannah's Happy Home, which we are very grateful for. So if you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. I've loved all of the classes that I've watched on Skillshare. I've learned so much and I just haven't come across a class that I haven't enjoyed. There's something on there for everybody. I've watched classes about home design, about gardening, and I'm currently finishing up an interior design class by Lauren Cox. It's called Interior Design Basics, Simple Steps to Your Perfect Space. I've enjoyed every one of these videos. So interesting and it really helps me just better my knowledge of home design and decorating. If you've been spending a lot of time at home and you've been wanting to rearrange, redecorate your house, then I would definitely recommend going and watching her classes. It's just so helpful and so inspiring. And it's a great time to join Skillshare because the first 1,000 of my subscribers who click the link down in the description box will get a two month free trial of premium membership. And if you want to continue to keep it after that, it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. You guys are going to love the classes on Skillshare. Like I said, there's something for everybody. So a big thank you to Skillshare again for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so we've got a lot of little renovation projects that we wanna get done around the house, but sometimes it's hard to remember them all and keep track of what needs to get done when we have a spare moment. So I went into the notes on my phone and I created a note called Hannah and then I created a note called Jalen. And in that note, I just made a list of all of the little projects that each of us need to get done. So I've got my list here and then I have the check boxes beside each item. So when one of us has time to do a little project, we can just go into the note and see which one we have time for. And then once we get it done, we can click the check mark beside of it. And it's just made it a lot easier and helps us to keep track of what we need to be getting done here around the house. So one of the things on my list is that I need to do some touch up paint on three different parts of the ceiling in the house. The biggest part is right here on this ceiling. There's a line that runs 
all the way across this main area to the other side of the kitchen because the contractor drew a chalk line across the ceiling when he lined up all these can lights and my husband wiped it off with a rag and it wiped off easily but it still left a mark across the ceiling so I need to get up there and touch that up. Thankfully we had a lot of ceiling paint left over so I just need to go and find that bucket of ceiling paint. Okay I found our ceiling paint. This bucket is probably about half full. This is what we used on our ceilings. It's the Volspar flat interior ceiling paint, paint and primer. Okay, so while I have the ceiling paint out, there's two other places that I need to touch up. The first one is right here in the pantry. The previous light fixture in the pantry was bigger than this flat LED that my husband put in here. So we had to do a little patchwork around that. So I just need to do some touch up paint right around there and then back here a little bit. A few weeks ago you guys saw us install this fan here in our master bedroom and the hole that they previously had for the wires for the fan was not centered with the room so my husband ended up having to drill a new hole in the ceiling so now we've got this hole over here in the ceiling i'm gonna try to patch this up and then do some touch-up paint with the ceiling paint Thank you all so much for watching this episode i hope that you guys enjoyed it as always if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below subscribe if you're new and i will see you in a couple days with a brand new video bye